Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai. Now, what I said was, Bless Yahawa, Bless Yahawa Shai. Uh, all praises to Yahawa the Father in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. All right, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Now, this is an article I uh, I caught yesterday. And um, this is from LifeSite. And it's news. All right. So it says homosexuality, marriage. So it says Democrat House unanimously okays gay reparations bill giving tax refunds to same sex couples. All right. So now, you know, Esau is given reward, you know, to the wicked. All right. The scriptures say he that called he that called evil good and good evil, you know. And now if you are uh, if you have the lifestyle of a homosexual, you know, and you married, you can now receive more money when it comes to tax refunds. All right. So the wicked is receiving reward. And that's you know, this article just proves that this place, America, is Babylon the Great, in which the Bible speaks of. And also, it is written that this place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. All right. And why Sodom and Egypt? Because first off, Sodom, OK, which is the city Sodom and Gomorrah and the five cities in like manner, you know, they are all given over to fornication, you know, all unlawful sex, homosexuality, bestiality, incest, you know, you name it. All right. And the Most High destroyed that place to this day. All right. With with fire and brimstone, no man shall inhabit. And that's the same way the Lord is going to also, by thermonuclear fire, destroy this place that you call America. Because America is written in the Bible, which is known as Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, the mother of harlots. All right. So there's the title. So let's read a little bit. And I grabbed some scriptures. It says, Washington, D.C., July 25th, 2019, LifeSite News, the Democrat-controlled U.S. House of Representatives on Wednesday approved legislations uh, enabling married, married same-sex couples to seek millions in tax refunds for unions that were not previously recognized under federal tax law. The pride promoting respect for individuals' dignity, equality, Act removes sex specifics terms such as husband and wife. <laughs> it says from the federal tax code and allows couples married while the Defense of Marriage Act, which protects states and the federal government from having to recognize same sex marriages from state that choose to recognize them to claim tax refunds for for which they were ineligible. All right. It says the U.S. Supreme Court struck down DOMA in 2013. The Washington Blade reported that the Joint Committee on Taxation put the estimate amount the feds could have to pay out if the bill becomes law at $67 million. So, <laughs> you know, this is reward, all right, for the wicked. This is reward, man. And this is going to make a lot of people, uh, you know, you never know. Jake is that foolish, man, to just, you know, right before the year is out, get married so they can claim taxes and get a whole lump sum of money. You know, uh, let's read here. It says the Pride Act passed the House on Wednesday by voice vote, meaning lawmakers were not required to put a vote on the record. Notably, no Republican resisted. The Hill noted that New York GOP rep Tom Reed expressed a technical concern about the legislations, but supported its core purpose to make sure our tax code is reflective of the law of the land as it has been declared by the Supreme Court. All right. It says in passing the Pride Act, Democrats are honoring our diversity and providing long overdue justice to countless same-sex couples across the country 
who have been denied critical tax refund because of who they are and who they love. All right. So there you go. You know, there's the report. You know, there's receiving reward, man. This is uh, wickedness at its all time high. And the scriptures say, you know, the wickedness shall increase, you know. So I'll just quote a couple of those. So let's now get some, you know, get some scriptures. It's uh, now I put the title there, wickedness. All right. Now, this is the first precept. This is Jude chapter one, verse seven. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. OK, fornication means adultery and it also means all un all unlawful sex. All right. It says and going after strange flesh because what's strange, strange if you see two men together, strange if you see two women together. Because the natural course of nature is that man and woman, male and female, mate to bring forth life. All right. So that's why the Lord is saying it's strange. You know, the most high, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, is very angry right now, man. Angry, man. And when the Lord fulfilled his will, this place is going out in a dramatic fashion, you know, something that the world will never forget. The scriptures talk about how the deliverance of the children, the elect of Israel this time, the sons, or let's say the elect, because there are women and children that will be delivered, the 144,000. This time, the deliverance is going to be greater than the time the Lord delivered the children of Israel out of the hands of Egypt, man. All right, so it says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example. All right, so Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, they were set forth for an example. And it says, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Verse eight, likewise also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. All right? And this is Bible, okay? This is the Lord speaking. This is not words from man. This is words from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? It was written by man, but inspired by the Most High. And these accounts actually happened, man. Sodom and Gomorrah actually was destroyed by brimstone and fire. This is this is record. This is evidence, man. The Bible is evidence. Bible, the Bible is a history book. All right. And it speaks about all all the different kingdoms and dynasties that that ruled the earth. This is reality, man. All right. Now, let's get the law. This is Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. So the Lord said, if a man lie down with another man as if he would lie with a woman, he said, both of them have committed an abomination. Now, an abomination is a filthy act. OK, so the Most High does not justify homosexuality. The Most High is not for homosexuality, no matter how much man, you know, event these inventions or choose what he choose to do it's not the most highest ways and the lord said up here in jude he set forth an example to sodom and gomorrah all right and the other cities in like manner that lived ungodly that gave themselves over to fornication he destroyed them with fire all right so it says leviticus 20 and 13 to end it off it says they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them so the most high is going to get to work this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, 31. For their rock is not as our rock, even as, uh, excuse me, even our enemies themselves being judges. Let me read that again. Deuteronomy 30, 32, 31. For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter, all right? Because ultimately, 
your philosophy, your false philosophies, you know, your ideology, you know, your manner of life and how you live. It's all poison. Scriptures tell you, Micah 2 and 10, this land is polluted. It shall destroy you with a sore destruction. All right. The ways of man will lead you to, to your grave. OK, not following the ways of the Lord. OK, the most high cut you short. So it says for their vine is the vine of Sodom. And the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of apps. OK, so when you take hold of these cuss these uh, preferences, your sexual preferences and choose your way of pride, which they call today pride. Scriptures talk about pride. Pride leads to a haughty fall. Pride leadeth lead 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 into destruction. So when you choose this life, all right, you know, you're going to be recompensed by your how about Shemi how shy. So, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, there's a report on the news. There's an article from LifeSite. Democrats House unanimously okays gay reparations bill giving tax refunds to same-sex couples. You know, they also was talking about giving reparations to the blacks, all right, the so-called Negroes that were slaves, you know, uh, you know, to the so-called Negroes, you know, and uh, I believe Benjamin and maybe Levi too, all right, to the slaves, all right. So, and now they signed the bill and it's official that uh, reparations will be given to uh, bill. Uh, reparations will be given to same-sex couples, you know. So, hey, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, brothers, pray for the kingdom, you know, and pray that the Lord, you know, come quick, man. Scriptures say, pray for fewer days, you know, because we need to get the hell up out of here. So, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.